Um, I only got one birthday wish, and that's to get my, my, my wife back, Cardi. You know what I'm saying? We're going through a lot of things right now, a lot of things on the media. I want to apologize to you, Cardi. You know, I embarrassed you. I made you look crazy. Doing things I ain't had no business. I was partaking in activity that I shouldn't have been taking in. And I apologize, you know what I'm saying? Breaking your heart, breaking our promise, breaking God's promise, and and being a, a, a selfish, messed up husband, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to be a better person. I wanna get this off my shoulders, I wanna get this off my back. I apologize to you, Cardi. I love you and culture. I wanna spend Christmas with you. I want to be able to spend the rest of life, my life with you. I apologize. I'm sorry for what I've done to you. I didn't fuck that girl, but I was entertaining. It. You know what I'm saying? I apologize. And I love you. I hope you forgive me. My birthday wish is just to have you back. All right, Mr. Delaferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? I want to send a happy born day, happy 27th born day to that boy. I was offset. One third of the biggest group in the world, the Migos. So happy born day, offset. Um, yeah, I'm sure he's out celebrating somewhere. Matter of fact, he might not be celebrating. When he, when he posted that video, he said, all I want for my birthday is my Cardi B back. So he's fighting to get his girl back. Offset has had a, I'm sure he, he, would, he would consider 2018 a year of ups and downs. All right, he got in a little bit of legal trouble. Um, he's had a, a phenomenal group, a year as a group. They dropped another album, Culture 2. Migos are as big as their brand has ever been. They want to with Drake. He got married, he had another kid. Yeah, it's been a great year. It's for Offset, had his ups and downs. I'm sure it's how he would categorize. He was in a car accident as well. Yeah, and then he's ending this year getting caught up in a cheating scandal. Now, me personally, Mr. Teleferro speaking here, I'm a reporter, but even I don't understand how uh, the girls that dudes decide to cheat with keep leaking out information, all right? Now, Offset has been caught up in a cheating scandal with some chick who's friends of uh, one of the dolls, I think her name's Cuban Doll, and she had text messages and she leaked them straight to tmz all right and the text messages and i'm only speaking on this because offset just did a video about it um because i don't even like doing videos on this i don't like that tmz can get a hold of text messages this quickly like yo fellas who y'all cheating with we got offsets text messages getting leaked drake shooting up clubs with escorts y'all niggas what the hell are y'all doing out here i am not an advocate for cheating i don't cheat in my relationship but damn y'all niggas ain't cheating right what the hell y'all doing um, Offset got caught up in this cheating scandal, and pretty much where he's at with it right now is he's trying to get his Cardi B back before he loses his relationship, all right? He is, uh, I'm sure she's trying to put some fear in the brother right now. They're both young, and they got a lot of life to live, and Cardi B, I'm sure she's just like, yo, stop, stop putting the fucking egg on my face with stuff. You keep putting, doing shit that's got the egg on my damn face, and Cardi B's bigger than Offset now from a brand standpoint, so... I'm sure he's got the the uh, fear put in him, and he wants his girl back. He's saying he want to do right, you know? I can tell y'all this from a music standpoint. This breakup with Cardi B has ruined Offset's rollout. As a matter of fact, on Twitter, yesterday, Offset tweeted out, oops. Remember, 21 Savage tweeted out that same oops. Uh, I forgot to drop my album a couple days ago. Um, insinuating that they forgot to drop their uh, body of work. It's not that simple for an artist just to say, oops. Like I said in the 21 Savage video, there are more parties involved. Uh, that, that's not that's not an oops, I forgot to drop my album. The reality of the situation is, or the truth of the matter is, I think this Cardi B situation, and I don't know this for a fact, I tried to get this confirmed, but I couldn't get it confirmed. This is me speaking, not any reporting right now. I think this Cardi B breakup kind of ruined Offset's rollout. I, I, I think he had like a... The album he was planning on dropping today, again, he wanted to drop an album for his birthday. It's been slated. I do know this for a fact. Offset dropping an album has been slated on the calendar for months now. I've been telling y'all that in my videos. He was supposed to drop an album today. It was a rollout. They were going to do Takeoff first, Quavo next, and Offset was always expected to drop an album on his birthday. That's been the plan for months now. And I'm guessing, yo, this Cardi B, again, this is me talking, not reporting. I'm believing this Cardi B rollout probably, or losing his wife Cardi B probably ruined his rollout a little bit. I'm sure they, he got records with Cardi B on his album, and it, it might not be the right time for him to be pushing a single if it's like a love, romantic single. I'm guessing here. I don't know this for a fact. I don't think it'll be the right time for Offset to be pushing a, a romantic single with Cardi B if uh, he probably can't even get his own wife to shoot up, show up for the video shoot right now. As deep water this nigga done got himself in. So I'm thinking he's probably going to push back to 2019. Yeah, I'm thinking if he didn't drop it today for his birthday, 
He's going to let, I'm sure he's going to let 21 Savage's dog. They did a joint collab tape last year together. I'm guessing he probably going to let 21 Savage have his, his week next week. And he's probably not going to drop until 2019 and probably try to fix his home. This this has probably ruined his rollout. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure this has ruined his rollout. I couldn't get it confirmed, y'all. But Offset had a party last night going into today. That was supposed to be an album release party. Now, a lot of people are saying that the name of his project is called Set Gala. I couldn't confirm that, but it, it does make sense um, that he had an album called Set Gala. He had the album release party. It was supposed to have it on in Los Angeles. And again, it's, it's kind of up in the air because because it was his birthday anyway, or leading into his birthday, he could always just chalk it up to, I'm having a birthday party. You know what I mean? So I'm guessing they trying to cover it up. I was told that that set gala party was supposed to be the album release party. That's what they booked it for. And it, obviously it's, the album didn't drop because I, I'm guessing it's because of this Cardi B situation got him fucked up right now. <laughs> he like, yo, I lost wifey. I'm trying to fix home. And I'm rooting for Offset, damn it. I don't care what y'all niggas say. Offset always show me love, bro. Offset went out of his way to do an interview for me this year uh when i was at huncho day when he wasn't even doing interviews at, at the time because he was trying to hide cardi b being pregnant and he did an interview with me for no reason look bro offset my nigga all right i'm rolling with offset we hope you get your girl back my nigga we room for i'll oh, fuck all y'all other niggas i'm team offset hope offset get his girl back and um yeah i hope they get on the same page because i don't know when we're gonna get that album if this breakup has ruined the rollout and obviously Offset's not in the space to want to even drop an album, maybe, because uh, he's trying to fight for his home. We rooting for you, my nigga. Get your girl back. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. I just wanted to clear it up. Uh, I seen Offset tweet out, oops. No, he did not forget to drop his album. All right? He did the same thing 21 Savage did. They don't want to drop their... Well, Offset's not dropping his album this week because, obviously, he lost his girl. And I'm guessing that ruined his rollout plan or whatever he had cooped up. I'm sure they had a couple tunes on the project. I'm guessing we don't get this album 2018. I don't think Offset's gonna try to force this bad boy out. The label might make him push it out next week because, again, we're in the last quarter. I think it's too late. I, I would think that he's gonna let 21 Savage have his day. Uh, next Friday is 21 Savage's day, the 21st. And I believe Offset's gonna probably wait to probably January 2019. We, shit, we might not get the project ever. Who knows? Thank y'all so much for the time. Let's put it on take it for granted. Salute. Me go. I'm sick. I'm out. I hate to interrupt the video, but I got a gift for you. See, I know a lot of people just be scheming through the videos. They don't really be watching the whole video, but we're going to start to catch them fake pharaohs now. The whole month of December, I got Amazon gift cards on deck, and I'm going to just be randomly giving them away like right now. All right? So the Amazon code that's flying across your screen right now, it's yours. The first person to redeem it have whatever the amount is. I think I got some $10 ones, $25 ones, $50 ones, $100 ones as well in that mix. So this gift card is yours. I hope you win it. Uh, I hope you watch this video all the way through. We gonna randomly drop these little videos in the midst of my videos the whole month of December. So we gonna catch all these fake pharaohs who ain't watching my videos all the way through. Just a small token of my appreciation for you and being a subscriber of my platform. So good luck. I hope you won that gift card. If you won it, comment in the comment box below. Say you won it. We're going to keep doing this all month for the real pharaohs. Happy holidays from yours truly. Mr. Teller Pharaoh. Enjoy the rest of the video. Christmas just ain't Christmas without the one you love. Oh, yo, where y'all come from? What's going on? It's yours truly, Mr. Teller Pharaoh. And it is the holiday season and I'm in the giving mood. To be honest with y'all. Y'all gave me over 60 million views this year, so give your darn self a pat on the back. Thank y'all so much for all the love y'all showed me, and I gotta give back. Yeah, it's time to give y'all some of this energy that y'all been giving me in 2018, so I'm doing a giveaway, and guess what? Anyone's eligible to win some of this free stuff, all right? It's just that simple. There are no specific groups, no hidden, no. You can get this free stuff too, bruh. I got a PlayStation in my lap. I actually got a couple PlayStations. I got all the games. I got a couple copies of all the games. We got all the hot games. I got some Amazon gift cards to my side. I got a, a TV or two maybe as well to give away. So this is my time to give you guys some love back. Thank y'all so much for y'all for y'all been showing me all year long. Now, 
Here are the three simple things you gotta do to win this stuff. All right, you know there gotta be some rules. I just can't give this stuff away. I mean, I did pay for it. Number one, you gotta be subscribed to my YouTubes. It's Mr. Teller Ferro and Ferro Reacts. You gotta be subscribed to the sports one as well to be in the running. We gonna fact check. We gonna make sure y'all show us some screenshots of y'all subscriptions, all right? Number two, you gotta be following my Instagram account, Mr. Teleferro TV. We got sports, hip hop news every day on that bad boy. Number three, you can't just follow the account. You gotta show some love to my Instagram. Make sure you like five posts. After you do those three things, we gonna randomly pick winners from Instagram, all right? We gonna randomly pick people who didn't like five posts on my Instagram, and we gonna hit you up and be like, yo, Send me a screenshot of you subscribed to my YouTubes. Send me a screenshot of you following my Instagram. And we're going to go from there. We're going to pick random winners. I got somebody working on that during this holiday season. But yes, you can win some of this free stuff. I want to help some of these parents make their Christmas morning special for their kids. Kids, y'all can y'all eligible as well. Y'all can get in the running for this free stuff. Make sure y'all do those three steps. And some of this giveaway season glory will be yours. Christmas just ain't Christmas without the one you love. Happy holidays from yours truly, Mr. Teleferro.